I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. We're not just a church, we are a family, we are a community that loves Jesus, and we want you to experience the Holy Spirit in a powerful way. are growing back. <laughs> Sarah laughed that night because of the Holy Spirit she produced a baby. Now touch your feel the pain. Touch where your sickness is. And just laugh. You have one more minute to laugh. Let the devil not control your miracle. Let the devil not stop your miracle. All those tumors are disappearing. All that paralysis is disappearing. All that pain is disappearing. <laughs> Woo! Laugh until your ankle is completely healed. Your ankle has been so sick and painful. It's leaving you now. 30 seconds. Come on, laugh. Anybody who needs a million dollars, laugh. I knew laugh at million dollars. Australians, you love money. <laughs> Woo Hallelujah. I rebuke every pain. Touch where you feel the pain. Touch where your sickness is. 
by the authority granted to me by Jesus Christ of Nazareth I rebuke the pain I rebuke the suffering I rebuke blindness and deafness I rebuke drug addiction I rebuke sickness I rebuke you cancer I rebuke you knee pain back pain I command you to live in Jesus name and Father, I thank you because of your miracles, signs and wonders. I thank you for the Holy Spirit. You are moving among the people. And you are healing each one of them. You are healing their lungs. You are healing their bodies. You are healing your strength. Father, release your miracles in the lives of your people. Fill the pastors with the Holy Spirit today. Fill your people with the anointing of the Holy Ghost today. My Father, I thank you because your power is here. Precious Holy Spirit, you are here. Open eyes of the blind. Let them see near and far. Remove the pain from the chest of the people. You cancer, get out of the people and never come back again. Father, the devil has heard. The devil is living. The devil is parking and gone. Oh, Father, touch the deaf ears. Let them hear. Open the blind of the eyes of the blind. Let them see. Lord God, I give you praise and I give you glory. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you, my Father, for your blessings because it's upon your people. Miracles are everywhere. Receive your healing. Receive your miracles. Receive your joy. Everyone said, I said, I receive my miracle right now. I receive my blessing in the name of Jesus right now. Devil, go away from me. Now I want you to shout Jesus seven times with a loud voice. Jesus. Jesus, you know he's a healer, he's a savior, he's a deliverer, he's your friend, be healed in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, shout hallelujah, now I command the sick to be healed, I command the paralyzed to be healed, I command those who have been demon possessed to be healed, I command the sick to be healed, now start doing what you could not do before. Start doing what you could not do before. In the name of Jesus. Check your hands and check your eye. Check your ear. Let somebody speak in your ear. If you could not hear, hear right now. Somebody's ear has just popped open. Get on the stage here. Get on the stage. Get on the stage. You could not walk without a stick. Now you can walk. Come up here. In the name of Jesus. Check where your tumor was. Check where your tumor was. Check your eyes. Do what you could not do before. Just come this way in Jesus' name. If your pain is gone, if you can bend, do what you could not do before. Don't just stand. Do what you could not do before. And check yourself. If your pain is gone, if your sickness is gone, just come over here before the second wave of the Holy Ghost hits this place. Come on, check your leg, check your arm, check your feet. Move around and come this way. Come this way, come this way, come this way. In Jesus' name, move your shoulders. Move your shoulders, move your shoulders. If God has touched you, come this way. Quickly in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do what you could not do before. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Check yourself, check yourself, check yourself. If God has healed you, get on the stage. Get on the steps here. Get on the steps. Miracles are everywhere. Check yourself. Check yourself. And lift up your hand and just laugh. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody says, your, your ear was damaged. Your ear was damaged. You could not hear at all. You could not hear in that ear. In one of your ears. Put up your hand wherever you are. Wherever you are. Just put up your hand. Your ear was damaged. You could not hear. Put up your hand. And come this way, come this way, come this way. In Jesus' mighty name. Come this way, come this way. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. God is good. Somebody say all the time, God is good. Lift up your hand and laugh. Somebody had a problem with your eye. Your eye has been blind. You could not see. One of your eyes could be could not see. Check yourself and see what the Lord has done for you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 
Glory, glory, glory to God. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. What is that girl who could not hear in her ears? In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come here, sister. You, 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 you. You with a scarf. Come up here. In Jesus' mighty name. Come up here. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come here, sister. Come here. No, 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 no. I am the one who called her. Please. Lift up your hand. What were you suffering from? Because I, I, I saw the hand of the Lord over your head. Representing other people. Uh -huh. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Touch them. Touch them. Just laugh. Just laugh. Oh. Darkness is leaving that house. Darkness is leaving that house. Pick up. Nineteen A. What does nineteen A mean? Nineteen A. What does it mean? Where do those people stay? I've seen kind of like a ghost leave an apartment called 19A. Very dark. Just got out of the window and left. <laughs> Just love. Touch. Check yourself. Check yourself. Yes, Pastor. What's hi, happening? Hi, Pastor Robert. Uh, this is uh, Olivia. Uh, 13 years old and she's uh, had a problem with the hearing and you called out yes so God is healing someone and God just touched this lady and uh, healed her of how are he you hearing you had a problem with your hearing yeah pardon um, I got bullied um, like really badly um, and this guy decided to scream in my ear and punch my ear and he made it physically deaf so it became physically deaf for how long? About, about six months. About six months. Just stop this ear. Just turn around. Repeat what I say. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I can hear. I can hear. <laughs> Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Wonderful. laughing people keep on laughing your miracle is coming Woo! pastor vera yes i got caroline here she yes. is 74 years old and, uh, 74 years young, 74 years young. Uh, she she came with uh, pancreatic cancer uh -huh. and she was also deaf for four years but just now the power of god opened her ears she say it's strange I came for the pancreatic cancer, but now I'm, I can hear. And she also had pain on the shoulder due to an accident, but double broke the joint, and now the pain is gone. My God, how do you feel? Good. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. You're, 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 so you can hear now in this ear. In that ear, yeah. This one could not hear. Just put this hand in this one. Stop this one. Just stop that one. 73 years young. Yeah. 73 is 74. She's 74 full of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Say Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can hear. I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> Now, listen, listen, 
you had pancreatic cancer. I was diagnosed on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Touch where the pancreas is. Just laugh. Everybody said you take chemo and treatment or radiation for cancer to go. Here we are giving you a dose of laughter and cancer goes. <laughs> hey, look at that lady. Somebody bring her over here. People keep on laughing. Mama, laugh. Just laugh. <laughs> Do you know that the eye of the Lord is on you? The eye of the Lord is on you. Cancer, come out! <laughs> you had pain there. Heat. You've been feeling heat. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Mareshende le mosha. You're going to feel like you've drunk a whole bucket of ice. What you're going to do, you'll go to the doctors, go back again, you go back on Wednesday, let them check, they have the good news for you. Yes, Pastor. Pastor Robert, this is Jacqueline. Yes. Her husband passed away about four years ago, and ever since then, the enemy has tried to intimidate her, and just over the last two and a half months, he intimidated her with, with, with her eyesight. Yeah. And uh, she believes that the Lord just touched her tonight and healed her and improved her eyesight this evening. Oh, how are you? Yes, definitely. Um, it's been a shocking state because it suddenly came on about a month and a half ago. Somebody started to be very, very angry with me for no reason. And when I sort of settled down and a couple of days later I realized I was having problems with my eyes and I couldn't read the small print and then I had to get those, you know, things that, I don't know what you call them, to enlarge the print and it's been, yeah, magnifying glass and it's been like that for the last few weeks and today um, I went to the Bible and um, asked the Lord to, to give me a word of, of, you know, faith or something and um, they said, it said that an envoy would come from overseas and, and would, um, I would be healed quickly. So he gave you a word, someone will come from overseas, you'll be healed immediately. And here you are, I'm from overseas. Just laugh, my sister. Just laugh. Just laugh. Tell those people to laugh. Laugh and be happy. I'm telling them they're not listening to me, so you tell them. Life is so very precious. Every day is precious. Don't let it go. Down. Okay, you just laugh too. Nobody will intimidate you. <laughs> oh my God, Holy Spirit, feel her. Holy Spirit, feel her, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God richly bless. Pastor, yes, Pastor. Amen. Pastor Robert, this is Claire. She's a physiotherapist, and two years ago, uh, she injured a shoulder and it has been very stiff and limited mobility and just tonight while she was standing there the power of God came upon her while you were praying and all the pain is gone and she says that that hand that was injured is better than this one that was not didn't even have a problem the mobility is back a hundred percent my God Come I love on. your smile Hallelujah. keep on laughing <laughs> And you're a physical therapist, so you understand <laughs> yes. when pain is on someone. That's right. Absolutely. And it's gone. No more physio for me. <laughs> Come on, somebody laugh again. Oh, God, fill her with more life. In Jesus. Woo. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Just join your hands together, everybody. 
Join your hands. Join your hands together like this. And raise them up. Whoever is going to laugh most will receive a million dollars. Father, fill these people with the Holy Spirit. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the power of God. Receive the life of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. Yes, Pastor. Pastor Robert, this is Tico. And yes. we saw the power of God come upon her and delivered yes. her. She's been depressed for a while. But something very significant, she hasn't eaten for two days and she's had pain wow. in her abdominal yeah. uh, parts. And uh, she believes that the Lord has touched her and uh, she's free from that this wow. evening. So you've been having pain for two days? Yeah. And you have not eaten for two days? Yeah, I haven't been eating properly. Um, I just, I didn't feel like eating and like so many thoughts came into my mind saying that I'm failure. And, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and saying that... Stupid. That's the devil. That's the devil. You are known. God is going to use you now. You're not a failure. You're a success. <laughs> Holy Spirit, give her the joy. Just laugh. Just laugh. <laughs> Just laugh. Just laugh. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> How many of you here, you feel like the devil telling you, you're a failure, you'll never be anything? That's what he's telling you. Get on the platform here. Whom the devil has been telling you, you're a failure, get up here. Let God fill you with the Holy Spirit. Yes, Pastor Vera, what's happening? Hi, Pastor Robert. Um, this uh, young lady, Kara, she was just down there. She was born uh, actually from six years old, coverage of the spine yeah. uh, in S-Shep. And while she was laughing, when you said laugh and it'll go, she was laughing down there and suddenly all the pain left. Her spine straightened and she can bend over and touch her toes. Wow, and no pain somebody low. clap your totally hands to healed. Jesus. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What happened? So your back was born with like an S? My back's been in a curved shape since the age of six years old. Wow. So while you are laughing, you start laughing there. I started laughing and I can't feel pain. Uncontrollably, I love that. And then you can bend now. My God. My God. Bend again. My God, her back is straight. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Come on. You are there, you are refusing to laugh, you are missing a miracle. Put your hands like this. Say, ha ha ha. Hey, hey, hey. He, he, he. Oh, ho, ho. Now do it faster. And do it 21 times. <laughs> so you are laughing. So what did you feel come over you when you start laughing uncontrollably? I felt the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. That's what he does. But let me just, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The power of God is coming upon you. This is the eighth day of path for Jesus. This is a new beginning. You must live here with a new anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's your name again? I'm Kiara. <laughs> God richly bless you. Yes, Pastor. This is amazing. This is Judica. Yes. He's from Indonesia. His daughter, where's your daughter? Oh, she's here. Yes. He doesn't, he can't speak English. God touched him. He's come over from Indonesia for a holiday and over the last two days he collapsed, was admitted to hospital. They diagnosed him with stomach cancer and it has affected his right leg. Yes. He's come here tonight. God's touched him as you prayed. God's touched him. He actually came by wheelchair and he's walking right now, which he could not do. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Wow, wow. And he does know Jesus, by the way. He's the son of God. And God touched him tonight. My God, and he doesn't know English. No, but his daughter translated. But his daughter was translating. Yeah. My God, my God, how are you, sir? I'm good. So, so it affected you. You could not. You could hardly walk. You had pain. Even, even 
even uh, even for stepping is very painful like from the bathroom to his room yeah he can't we have like to have both of us me and my mom to uh, to carry him yeah but now after you pray he just stand on his own and start kicking and start moving his legs somebody clap your hand. just laugh <laughs> tell him to laugh what is laughing in Indonesian Katawa. 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 Yeah. Katawa. He said he want to say something. Oh, okay. Hello, Australia. <laughs> Saya orang Indonesia. Ketika tadi didoakan. Oh, ya. Ketika tadi saya didoakan. Saya heran. Uh, after Pastor Robert praying for me, I was so surprised. Bapak Bidneta mengatakan, ketawa saja, santai saja. Because the pastor said, just laugh, just relax. Setelah saya, setelah saya berdoa, saya heran, saya langsung. Yeah. <laughs> Itulah. So after Pastor Robert pray, I'm so surprised that I can moving my legs, I can kicking my legs, just not like before. Jadi kalau bapak pendeta mau ajak saya, mau apa sudah bisa. He said even if the pastor want me to fight with him, he can. Okay, okay, man. <laughs> hallelujah! Somebody shout hallelujah! <laughs> No more stomach cancer. We rebuke you. Just laugh. Tell him to laugh. Just laugh. Laugh with him. Laugh again. Tell him to laugh again. And the third time. Touch. My God, God, my God. Thank you, Father. Now he can walk. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. That devil is a liar. Somebody here, you have so much pain in your hip. You have so much pain. Is it you? Get here quickly. Yes, Pastor Vera. I've got Sarah here. She has for three months she had been suffering pain and she couldn't move her her right hand but today she got total mo mobility on the hand how are you hey you're from uganda eh. okay she was speaking in one of our languages there she said i'm okay <laughs> so how long have you been suffering <laughs> because Emma, I want to, to talk on my mother tongue so that I can be happy with him. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I will translate. Go ahead. Mbade maze mieze satu. Ngazi sovola kuchusa mkono. Naeka china wewola gambia tuseke. Nense kaka tilenda vanga nsovola kuchusa. Hallelujah. Mieze satu. For three months she could not move her hand. But when we said laugh, she started laughing. And now she begin to move her hand. Mm, Where are you from, Uganda? Uganda. In Bali. Oh, she come from Bali, Eastern Uganda. Mm. Never again. Laugh again. <laughs> Era. Era. <laughs> Feel how with the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Pastor Robert, these are the two ladies you called up. They, yes, they please. Yes, please. Chronic pains in the back. I know testimonies are still there. So you've been having pain there. Okay, put your hand there. Just laugh. Just laugh, my sister. Just laugh. Just laugh. The Lord will say to you, lady, that struggle is over. You've been through a lot in your home. For the past 12 years, there have not been no joy in your house. 
And you've wondered whether there is God or not. Everything you touch fails. Even as we speak now, you don't know how you're going to pay the bills. He has left. He has left. You are alone. But the Spirit of the Lord said to you, I've come to set you free. I've come to give you a new beginning. I am your God. I loved you. I loved you. Says the Spirit of a living God. Touch, Spirit of a living God. Ah, same story like the other one. Uh -huh, I rebuke that. Just laugh. 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 Look at me, lady. Do you remember an apple tree? It used to grow and then it died. It was growing and it died. And ever since that year it died, things begin to go wrong. Things begin to go wrong. But the Lord say he's planting a new tree of life for you. Surprisingly, I see you seated on a diner and there is a gentleman coming to talk to you. And he's smiling. He's a little bit gray hair, like this gray hair. He's not the one who's coming. He's not the one coming, but he has gray hair like this. Little bit skinny. Has a jacket, gray jacket. It's going to happen in three days from now. He's going to come and talk to you. Just laugh. What is that lady who was here? I'm glad she walked on those tapes. Yeah, I wanted to see. <laughs> ah. How do you feel in your hip? What is your question? How do you feel? What do you feel right now over you? It's good. I'm calm down. You're calm down. It's good now. You're welcome. Pick up. How do you feel in your leg now? Move. Just move. Move again. Just walk over there. Walk again. Lift your hand and laugh all over there. You love a farm? You love animals? What about cows? Walk over there because you're gonna you're going on a farm. She doesn't believe me. <laughs> That's the problem. Because the gentleman who's coming is gonna take you on a farm. She doesn't believe me, but it's going to happen. Next time I come, you give me some milk. <laughs> yes, Pastor Ben. Pastor Robert, this is Lily. She's shy to come, so she got a friend with her. Two years ago, she got an accident. And it affected her L4 and 5. And she was walking with pain, and she could hardly walk. But you ask her to laugh, and as she laughed, the pain left her, and now she can walk normally 
Wow. Yes. So you, you, you had an accident yes. and you're four and five. L, L four and five. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, so now you are able to walk. Yes. The pain is gone because you laughed. I think so. Are you married? Sorry? Are you married? Yes. You have children? No. You don't I have can't children. have children because of accident. How long have you been married? Um, like uh, just a few months. Okay. You just got married a few months. Okay, so babies are coming. But just love. How many <laughs> children do you want? At least two. At least two. <laughs> you want eight? Oh. oh. Okay, touch your no, stomach. This... <laughs> just love. Just love. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. I thank you for giving our twins in Jesus' name. And the third one, and the fourth one, <laughs> and the fifth one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I give you praise. Oh, huh? Jesus. <laughs> Is there anybody barren here? You can't have children? You can't have children? Stand over there. Join the hands together. And you too? Join the hands. Just laugh. How many children do you want? Three? you huh? you don't know I'll decide for you and you <laughs> two and you huh? oh you a husband and hey you a couple and you how many you want four <laughs> just love how long have you been married you how long have you been married Seven years and no children. Put your hands together, both of you. Both of you. Face each other. Seven years. This is the eighth year. Look at each other and laugh. Touch, Holy Spirit. I break the spirit of barrenness and seedlessness. I drive it out of between you. I release the Holy Spirit, Father. Give them seven children. In the name of Jesus. This is, this is Heidi, Pastor Robert. And uh, you asked for somebody, you, you said that you had a word of knowledge and you said there's somebody here that, that feels like they, they're a failure. Yeah. And uh, she felt that you were talking to her. And, yeah. uh, and the Lord also touched her back tonight as they were praying for her. How are you? All right. <laughs> okay. There were others who felt like you are, you, are, you are. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Yeah. Hallelujah. The devil whispers to you, you are nothing, you'll never do anything. Join hands together. You too. Join hands. Another one, stand over here quickly. Join hands. Another one, another one, another one. Here. Here. I need more ashes. I need more ashes to help me. Join hands. Make sure you don't fall into the keyboard or electricity. Yeah, you'll feel more power. <laughs> Just laugh. Just laugh. You are here. Laugh. Just laugh. I need more ashes, please. I need more ashes. Come close. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Don't fall into the keyboards. In the name of Jesus. Just laugh. You people join them. <laughs> laugh with them. Father, in the name of Jesus, you devil who is a liar, you a liar, we laugh at you. They will be successful. Spirit of the living God, set them free. Set them free. Set
set them free set them free just laugh just laugh just laugh the anointing is here touch 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 <laughs> Woo! touch holy spirit feel them in jesus that's it that's it that's it you are successful you are successful i break every yoke i set you free be free be free Woo! thank you jesus amen your story changes today you join your hands together some of you are here on the platform are not laughing i'm gonna throw you down there join your hands lift them up when i count to three you start laughing if you're not slapping i'm coming to slap you you start laughing one two three of you at the back I'm, I can't hear you now listen you're gonna breathe in and out seven times on the seventh time the power of God is coming to you some of you feel like falling down some of you cannot even stand that is the Holy Spirit surrender to the Holy Spirit you can't handle it yourself okay breathe in breathe out breathe again breathe out and again number four out number five out number six number seven touch holy spirit fill them with the holy spirit father in jesus name now i want you to walk out of this platform going down there go this way shouting i'm victorious on the top of your voice come on come on come on go there shouting i am victorious come on come on i am victorious i am victorious come on come on come on i am victorious i can't hear you come on come on come on someone come on come on come on i am victorious i am victorious i am victorious come on come on come on i am victorious i can't hear you i can't hear you i can't hear you somebody clap your hands to jesus yeah you are you are victorious <laughs> yes pastor pastor robert this is an amazing story this lady and her husband has been coming to perth for jesus for the last few years yeah we need some power in the monitors here. and uh, I want her to tell you a story because God has touched her and her husband and blessed them like you can't believe. Wow. Yes, uh, we've been coming for the past six years and uh, to pet for Jesus. And uh, we came with major two prayer points. I used to come with my daughter that was sick, was on a wheelchair. And he went, he went to the Lord uh, in 2013. And God gave us this baby after 26 years of marriage. Yes. Wow. Amen. Amen. After 26 years of marriage. Yes. yes. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. Path for Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. 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 Thank God. It's a good God. <laughs> I will not ask how old are you. I'm, all, I'm, I'm just over 50. <laughs> 26 years. And here's the baby, Pastor Vera. This is a real miracle. <laughs> this baby is after 26 years of marriage. <laughs> Somebody clap your hands here. Yes, Pastor Vera. We have Nancy here. Come on. She's filled with the Holy Spirit. And as she was laughing, she's a condition where she has a, a leaking gut. And as she is, when she was laughing, she felt the leaking has stopped. For how many years? 30 years? 
and she has itch all over her body and it has stopped. She's still laughing. That is a husband. <laughs> you have a brand new wife now. She's getting younger, you know. Uh, three months ago, I was, I was crying so much in bed, and uh, I asked the Lord to uh, put her into a deep sleep because I just want to—I just wanted to cry out to God with all my heart. And I said, "Lord, please don't let me go to sleep. I'm not going to go to sleep until you tell me what's wrong with my wife." And bang, I went into a, suddenly into a deep sleep, and the Holy Spirit came to me and said, "Your wife has damaged intestines." And bang, I went into another deep sleep and a few minutes later the Holy Spirit came to me again and says your wife has leaky gut and I went into another deep sleep and we woke up and said Nancy quick get the get this get the smartphone and look it up leaky gut and there it was it's absolutely unbelievable and we got in touch with the people who are, we've been to so many doctors and hospitals and it's, everything comes up negative but there it was the Holy Spirit told me what it was I thought what is this leaky gut I've never heard of it. And we looked it up on the, on the smartphone and it's all, it's all there. It's all there. And the doctors do not recognise it. They do not recognise it. Only, and we went to the specialist. He's been trained in America. And now all the itching and everything is gone. She's is just laughing. A big change You laugh with her. Getting, yes. Laugh with her. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> laugh with her. <laughs> You may, you, you, you may have a baby of old age. Come on, laugh in Jesus' name. <laughs> Holy Spirit, fill this couple. Fill them with your power. In Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Never again. To them. Abraham and Sarah. How many of you need a miracle? You need a financial miracle. Stand up on your feet. Anybody, you're tired of dates? Come here quickly. You're tired of dates? You need a financial miracle? You need a breakthrough? You need a house? You need, you need, you need, whatever you need. Come here quickly. Christmas is around the corner. In the name of Jesus. You need the power of God. You need the spirit. Yes, pastor. This is Jenny. Yes. And 11 years of pain in her stomach got touched and she's healed in her hip after how many months was it one month Lord touched and healed as well Wow Wow how do you feel feel like you're happy oh touch her Jesus fill her in Jesus name <laughs> that's power there's power here on this platform pastor Vera I want to thank you for having faith to bring healing to these people every year we, want, we are grateful. We are grateful. May the Lord add to you more and more. And let me say this. Please visit our website. Visit the website of, the, of, of Path for Jesus. I think it's always they used to put up here. Put the, the website and, and, and then you follow it. Number two, visit the 77 days of glory in Uganda on www.robertkayanjaministries. And then you begin to see all kinds of... And listen... When someone asks you money on Facebook or any other things, don't. Because there are so many liars and pretenders who are going to go after your money. Do not do that. We don't raise money on Facebook or anything. But if you want to give, you go on our website. You find a secure way of giving. It's either PayPal or whatever form you can give. But nobody asking you money for, for other forms. There are so many, many scrupulous people who will steal your money. Please don't do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Download those books for the Holy Spirit. They are free. They are for free. Read as much. We are writing now book number six and soon book number seven. We've had mass weddings. So far, 2,000 couples have sanctified their marriages. The recent mass, mass wedding was over 1,000 couples. On one day, 1,000 wedding cakes, 1,000 gowns. If you're not married legally, come to Uganda. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, so join your hands together in Jesus' name. 31st, there will be over, over a quarter of a million people who are going to be there on the 31st, believing God. So you can, if it's too hot here, come over there. It's paradise. Lift your hand. And let me say this. I know you've already taken up an offering. 
but support path for Jesus because it's it, God is now breaking it out into many areas and the work they're doing we've been blessed I would not have known you if it was not path for Jesus so I want you to know that God is gonna do a great and mighty things and we are grateful for what God is doing child of God the Holy Spirit is here Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up to you. Come and quench the thirsty of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Here's my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. Here's my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsty of my soul. again and out number six now number seven touch holy spirit fill your people fill them to the brim fill them to the overflow with a loud voice just laugh 21 times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, touch, may the Lord bless you and increase you, in Jesus name, hallelujah, put up your hand, so touch where you feel the pain whether there is a breast whether there is something you put there touch your knees touch your back touch your legs after we pray you do what you could not do before then you will come over there if God has healed you if you are blind, put up your hand. Touch your blind eye. In Jesus' name. If you are deaf, put up your hand. Put your hand in the, in the deaf ear. In Jesus' name. If you have got tumors, whatever it is, your breast, your uterus, whatever it is, or on your body, touch there. If you are suffering from any disease, HIV, post-COVID, what have you, demons bothering you, you are having bad dreams, you touch your head. We're going to pray for you. Jesus is here.
Yes, His power is here. He's gonna heal you. Robert Kayanja cannot heal. Robert Kanja is and My master Jesus yes, is here with the Holy Spirit to heal you to transform you when you see healed then you will come forward come through through me Holy Spirit come go through me and make my life don't move no more movement please watch it nobody moves holy spirit come go through me here's my cup lord i lift it up lord come and quench the thirsty of my soul Bread of heaven, feel me till I want no more. Somebody's ribs are being healed. I rebuke every sickness and disease. Every spirit of sickness. Every spirit of diseases. Every prostate. Every cancer. Every deafness. Nobody moves. No ashes moving. We are in the presence of God. I rebuke every disease. I rebuke every cancer. I rebuke every fear. I rebuke every tumor. Satan, pack your bags and go. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. These are the bodies of the Lord. Get out of their ribs. Get out of their eyes. Get out of their lungs. Get out of their chests. Come out of their homes. Come out of their bodies. You deaf and dumb spirit, pack your bags and go. You demon of witchcraft, you stomach tumors, get out. You diseases, leave now. Devil, you know who I am. I am a servant of the living God. Devils, go away. Get out in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. You spirit of death. Get out. Toka. Leave now. Toka. Leave that woman. Toka to your Leave her in Jesus' name. Watch him, watch him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. No more cancer. No more lameness. No more blindness. Behold the finger of Jesus. Behold the hand of God. No more pain. No more paralysis. No more epilepsy. No more asthma. No more emphysema. Go out. In Jesus' name. You demon of barrenness. Get out in Jesus' name. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Jesus name now lift up your hand call on the name of Jesus seven times 21 times 21 times Jesus 21 times five my God Six, seven, Touch, 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 touch,
Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Lift your hand and say, Father. I am healed. I am blessed. No more pain. No more paralysis. No more sickness. My devils are gone. My castles are broken. I am blessed. I am filled. I am healed. Lift your hand and clap your hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Receive your healing. I command the blind eyes to open. In Jesus' name. I command the cripples to walk. In Jesus' name. I command the deaf ears to hear. By the authority granted to me by Jesus of Nazareth. Receive your healing. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check your legs. Check your arms. Check your womb. No more pain. Check your knee, lady. And walk. And see what the Lord has done for you. Now, those of you who have got crutches, sticks, corsets, lift them up. Lift them up and walk. Raise them up and walk and come this way. If you could not hear, hear now. Check yourself. If the pain is gone, lady. Just walk over there. Walk over there. Go there. Go over there. Just walk. Just walk. Sister, walk in the name of Jesus. Just walk. Lift your stick. Lift your crutches. The power of God is everywhere. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Check your ears. Check your ears in Jesus' name. If God has healed you, go over there, young man. Go over there. 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 If you've been having pain, you've been having problems in Jesus' name. Do what you could not do before. Check yourself and raise your hand and laugh. And if you see there's no more pain, if your sickness is gone, if you can hear, you can see, go over there. Quickly, quickly, go over there. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Somebody came here with pain in your womb. Or tumors. Or sickness. Run over there, please. Go over there. This is your time. This is your time. For the Lord to set you free. Pastor David, that led you over there. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Check yourself and see what the Lord has done for you. And give God the glory. Miracles are everywhere. People lift up your hand. And shout hallelujah seven times. Water. Touch me. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. One. One. Two. Two. God has heard your prayers. 
say Jesus. Repeat and say Jesus. Da I, I don't know. She speaks English. Jemima. Jemima. Repeat what I say. Rudia kila nimesema. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Now stop this. One. Stop that one. Say Jesus. Yesu. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know? Majua. It is true, Jemima cannot hear in this ear. Akika haku anasikia katika sikio hili. Jemima. She can't. Aski. This one he is better. Ni heri kidogo. Because she can hear in this one. Sabu anasaskia kwa hiyo. But this one. Lakini hiyo. She can't. Always. Jemima. Jemima. Jesus loves you. Yesu anakupenda. Put, I'm putting you my hand, my, my finger on your ear. Na weka kidole changu kwenye sikio lako. Look at Jesus. Mtazame Yesu. He's your healer. Ni mponyaji wako. You hear me? Manisikia sasa. Is your healer. Ni mponyaji wako. Is your savior. Ni mwokozi wako. This deafness Kusiwi huu. is not just biological. Sio ya kibiologia. It is spiritual. Ni ya kiroo. Give you praise, Jesus. You deaf spirit, leave her ears. Ears were made to hear. Go. I adjure you by the authority granted to me by Jesus of Nazareth. Sir David, get behind this lady. Get out. You deaf spirit, get out. And don't come back. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. five. Hallelujah. Ten. Glory to God. Touch. I give you praise, Jesus. Whatever you are dealing with is over in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. You go back to your place.
Jemima. Amen. Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Tonight, every spirit is going to obey you. Every spirit is going to obey you. There will be no devil. You will call on the money and it will come. You will call on the blessing and they will come. Somebody say, shout hallelujah, glory to God. Amen and amen. My God, may the Lord free your house. Yes, Pastor David. Pastor, this is Risper. She's been battling with stage four cancer. She could not bend. All her body was in tremendous pain. The power of God has touched her. She can now bend. There is no more pain in her body. There is no pain in her system. That is what she could not do. Jesus has performed a miracle for Rispa. You could not do that. No, I have I've not for the last one and a half years. I've not been able to bend properly. I've never squatted. Could not squat. There's too much pain over here. Too much. Too much pain. How do you feel now? I feel free. You feel free? Yes. Lift your hand. There is no one else like you. Can I touch you? Can I touch you? There is no one else like you. Sir, I speak to you. Leave. Leave. You spirit of death. Leave. Leave. You spirit of death, leave. I am out to talk. Get out! Get out, you spirit of death! Get out of her body! Get out, you cancer! Get out of her house! Get out of her body! And come back no more! In Jesus' name! Get out! Thank you, Jesus! has had a shoulder dislocation she was due for an operation after prayer the power of God has touched her she can move her hand she can move her shoulder no more pain since last year somebody clap your hands to Jesus my God my God for you are great touch you do me recall so great 204 since 204 he has had ulcers and there's been a tumor in his tummy the power of god has touched him the tumor is no more the ulcers are no more healed by the power of god pastor you had a growth in your tummy you could touch it and feel it yes when you touch there now the stomach is free. Yeah. The growth is not there. Yeah. Since 2004? From 2004. What is your name? My name is Luke Bernabas. Shima Shete Karebo Shete Karebo. You need to listen to this pastor. This is... You said you have no toes? On one leg. On one leg. Yes. And you had growth underneath your, your foot. Yes. Woods. The growth and the wood. Yeah. From my childhood. From your childhood. So today, when we pray, they disappeared. The daughters They dried up. They dried up. For you are great. I give you praise, Jesus. You do me recall so great. Lord, I give you praise, Jesus. There is 
no one else like you. Lift your hands, saints, and praise the Lord. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. There is this no is Kimani Pastor. Like you. Kimani was beaten by a centipede stung. And he had a gro he had a, a, a growth that a tumor that could not dry. He came for prayer. The power of God touched him. The tumor has now dried. And the pain is completely gone. You had a wound. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are afraid that your leg was going to be cut yeah. because the wound could not dry. Yeah. A lot of pain. A lot of pain. Walk over here. Go up and down. There is no one else like you. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. He's on the same leg. My God, my God, lift up your hand. For you are great touch. Pastor, this is your miracles. Kato. He has been on drugs for the last 10 years. And because of the drug addiction, drug addiction, yes. His ribs have been cracking. His ribs were cracking. He was brought by his mother. The power of God has touched him. The ribs are no more cracking. Healed by the power of God. And he says he's no longer going to go back to, 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 to drug again. Listen, I, the Lord told me somebody has a problem with the ribs. But I didn't know it was the greater than ribs. My God. Where is the mother? Wapi mama, wapi mama ke? Mama, come here. Njo hapa mama. Young man, how old are you? 24. How long have you been using drugs? From 2015, 10 years. Miaka kumi akifuta dawa. 15, 20 years. From 2015. Esther, amaba waikomi. Touch! I rebuke this drug addiction. The desire for drugs to leave you. Get out of this young man, you spirit of drug addiction. Lose his life. Get out of his body. Get out of his tongue. Go. Alcohol. Drugs. And lies. Leave. Talk. Leave. Leave. Leave his life. 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 You devils. You devils. Get out of his life. Get out of his life. Get out. Come out, 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 you spit of drug addiction. Get out. 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 People say fire. 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 Get out. Fire. Get out. Loose his legs. Loose his head. Loose his chest. Loose his tongue. You spin out death. Get out. Never come back again. This is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Touch. Touch. Loose him totally.
Never come back again. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Lift your hands, saints. Every spirit will obey you. Every bandage you will leave your life. The young man, you are free. Amen. And you're going to serve God. This is your son. You've struggled with him. Very much. Your son is going to, where do you live? How far is there? Just here in Nairobi. 15 kilometers from here. Yeah. Is there a church, a strong church there? You need a strong church where you can go, where they can pray. Maybe Apostle Suvi. Go there. They will help you, young man. They will help you. If you need, how old are you, 23? So you can stay with people who are believers. They need people who are believers. If you can find him a little room where next to a strong believer, we can help him pay for it. So that he start growing in the Lord. You go to the Bible college. You are going to serve the Lord. Stand here. Raise your hand. Look at me. So spirit of God, what do you feel inside of you now? He feels something very strange. Yeah. Very strange. The devil has left. The Lord is in there. Lift your hand. Say, Jesus, Jesus. I give my life to you. I give my life to right, you. Now. right now. Save me. Save me. Change, me. Change me. Transform me. Transform me. Use me. Use me. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Now stand up. Wow. The anointing is coming. Upako it's going to be like electricity. It will umeme. go through you. Nakupita. Those people will cut you. Your body is literally going to shake. Namuili and wako remove wako. all those drugs that has Na been inside of you. Yote. Touch! Ushua. Touch! Ushua. Holy Spirit! Come upon this young man. And use him. Go. Never come back again. Oh, you deserve the glory. Yes, Pastor David. She had ah, blood eyesight. Glow. She could not read. She had blood eyesight. After prayer yesterday, she can read anything. She had a blood eyesight. Was range. So uh -huh. when I got home, I took my Bible, which I was not able to read before, yes. and I can read it well. Now you can read it. Yes. You could not read it before. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Lift your hand. Holy Spirit, I rebuke that one not to go into your son. I rebuke it not to touch your son. Holy Spirit. That sin. That sin. Open your mouth and say something. <laughs> Open your mouth and say something. That's the Holy Ghost. Touch. There are people here. The enemy has hold you. You know you are the generation to free Africa. You know you are the generation to free Kenya. Spiritually, economically, financially, in every area of your life. But the enemy is holding you back. Now join your hands together. Raise them up. And look at me. You're going to breathe in and out three times. 
pumua ndani na nje mara tatu this anointing is anointing of leadership huni upako wa uongozi you are going to become a leader financially utakuwa kiongozi kifedha materially kimali physically kimwili in matrimony in a holy matrimony katika ndoa yako as an example in your family kama mfano katika jamii yako power is going to sweep across nguvu itapita in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu mashete kerebo shataraba raise your hand Say Lord, Lord, I'm ready for your anointing. I'm ready for your anointing. I'm ready for your power. I'm ready for your power. I want it now. I want it now. Help me change you. Help me change. Help me change me. Help me change. Change me. my family. Change my family. Change my community. Change my community. Change my church. Change my church. Change my county. Change my county. Change my district. Change my district. change the constituency. Change the constituency. Change the nation of Kenya. Change the nation change of Change Africa. Change Africa. Change the world. Change the world. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready, Lord. Now breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe again. Breathe out. Breathe again. Breathe out. Breathe again. Breathe out. Breathe again. Breathe out. Number 6. Breathe out. Number 7. Touch. Touch Holy Spirit I give you praise. Touch Holy Spirit. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus mighty name. Receive the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. I give you praise Jesus. Akupa sifa Yesu. I give you praise Jesus. Akupa sifa Yesu. I give you praise Jesus. I give you praise Jesus. Those of you are down, leave them down. Wale wako chini wache. Those of you standing go behind. Wale mmesimama rudini nyuma. Hurry up. Alakisheni. Leave those on the ground. Wacha walale tu. You go behind. Wewe rudi nyuma. Leave them in the presence of God. Waacha katika uwepo wa Bwana. Come on Ashas, move back. I told you don't move people. You lady, do you listen what I'm saying? Nimesema hey. wacheni kusoma. Wewe toka hapo. Come on Ashas, move back. Ndio alifanya. He put him under sleep. Alimfanya alale. Then he pour out the helper. Aka akatoa msaidizi. When God wanted to bath the church, kati Bwana alitaka kuzaa kanisa, he put his son to sleep. Aliweka mwanae alale. You call it death. Akaita kifo. He called it sleep. Akaita ni usingizi. Jesus said to the disciples. Yesu akaambia wanafunzi. Akasema Lazarus is sleeping. Lazaro amelala. They didn't get it until you tell them he's dying. Hawakushika hadi aliposema nikukufa amekufa. The way God pulls great things out of you. Vile Mungu anatoa vitu vikuu ndani yako. He put you to sleep. Anakuweka ulale kwanza. Like those people. Kama watu. You mark their lives. Hebu angalieni maisha yao. You will see what's coming out of them. Utaona kinachotoka hapo. Lift your hand. The Lord is bathing something. You are bathing something you did not even know you had inside of you. God is bathing something you didn't know you had. Bwana anazalisha kitu ndani yako ambao hukujua kiko. God is bathing something you didn't know you had. Bwana anazalisha kitu kudhania kiko. 
Something great is coming out of you. Something powerful. You are the generation that will change Africa. You are the generation that will change your family. If God is going to start with anybody, He's going to start with you. May you be great. May you be anointed. May your ministry go to another level. May the Lord favor you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord pour His grace on you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <laughs> He's everywhere. He's everywhere. He's, the Holy Spirit is everywhere. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. There is a group of businessmen. You are running hotels, you are running uh, maybe kiosks or restaurants, whatever it is. You, you, you are into business. But the enemy has been hindering you. You've not been able to break through. Others succeed, but you have not succeeded. If you are here, lift up your hand. Whatever business you run, Whatever business you run, the anointing is coming on you. Touch your head. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are releasing this anointing. You are releasing this anointing of a business person. Of a business person. You are releasing it in me. You're releasing it in me. And I'm going to operate under it. And I'm going to operate under in it. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Now just laugh. Check it, check it. I didn't say pray, I say laugh. Somebody laugh. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised somebody help me either carry those people on the floor at this way or get them up carefully this one's okay but here this, this whole aisle here the lamb upon the throne you are glorious and worthy to be praised. And, uh, How many of you are ready to become lenders and never borrowers? Put your hands on your head. You are ready to start to start money lending. Are you ready to start a bank? Are you ready to create capital? Are you ready to finance the gospel? Are you ready? Are you ready to have the anointing for money? Put your hands on your head. Say, Lord, give me the anointing. Give me the anointing to be a lender, never borrower. To be a lender, never borrower. To be a money lender. To be a money lender. Anoint me for finances. Anoint me for finances. Release your favor. Release your favor. Your power and your grace. Your power and your grace. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm gonna operate in it. I'm going to operate. Just in laugh. It. Aha, check Sarah laughed. Checker. Sarah laughed and she had a baby. Checker, come on, I'm Just laugh, somebody. <laughs> Aha. Woo. Woo. Now listen, Skiza. I don't know how, how much is 10,000 of Kenya shillings is. 
Sijui elfu kumi ya Kenya ni ngapi? 100 dollars. Okay. Jesus. Yes. 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 I am free. Now lift up your hand, everyone. He touched me. Lift up your hand. Look up in the heavens. Say, Oh God, let your power come upon me. I receive it. I am healed. My legs are healed. My ears can hear. My eyes can see. I can speak. The pain is gone. Now, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your hand. Open your mouth. Thank God in your own language. God can hear Chinyarwanda. Open your mouth and thank Him. Thank Him for healing you. Thank Him for setting you free. Thank you for delivering you. Lord, hear your people. Lord, hear your people. Glorify your Son. Hear your people. Now heal them all. Heal them all. I command the sick to be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command the cripples to walk. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command the deaf to hear. In the mighty name of Jesus. I command the pain to go. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command your sickness to go. The power of God is here. Behold. The power of God. Behold. The healing resurrection power of God. God is healing somebody over here. There is a miracle over there. There is a miracle over there. Walk. 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 Hey, just get me and hold the microphone. Do what you could not do before. There is a miracle over there. You who have got crutches, walk. 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 Lift your crutches. There is a miracle over there. There is a miracle over there. There is a miracle over there. There is a miracle over here. There is a miracle over here. Let them walk. Let them walk. And come. And come, make way for the people. Walk, lift your stick and walk. Come, come. People, clap your hands to Jesus. They are miracles everywhere. They are miracles everywhere. Shake your ears. Shake your ears. Shake your eyes. Shake your legs. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Shake your eyes. Shake your legs. Walk over here. Lift your stick, Mama. Mama, Lift your stick. Samuring on your mama. Mama, Mama, come this way. Walk over here. In Jesus' mighty name. Hey, Mama. 
come here. Who's come it? here, Mama. Mama, we know. What happened to you? Mama, uh, look this mas- way. Look at me, lady. Look at me. Look at me. Don't look Le- at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. What Le- happened to you? Le- what is it? No, mercy. The knees. I've been the healed. The knees. The- Hold your microphone. What uh, happened to you? Uh-huh. My, my knees were hurting uh-huh. and I couldn't even stand for a long time. Uh-huh. But now I can stand. Now you can stand. When, when I was seated down, my knees were covered. And as we were praying, I heard the Spirit speaking to me that uncover the knees and stand up. I, 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 un, I uncovered them and I stood up. Now I can feel free. I'm healed. Hallelujah. So walk I, I here, stood walk for a longer there. time than I've never stood walk before. There. Walk there. Mama, yeah, you, Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Hey, come, Mama. Mama, Garuka. Come, come, stand mama. over there. Hagara, hari, ya, mama. You musician, push back your chair. Get out of your chairs and push your microphone back. Quickly. Mama, stand over there. Mama, hagara, honga, ho. Tell me, tell me, tell me what happened. This lady has been paralyzed for two weeks and she could not walk. But just a few minutes ago, the power of God went through her and she can walk now. Hallelujah! Somebody clap your hands to Jesus! My God, my God, my God! Walk over here, walk over here! My God, my God! And stand over here! And stand over here! My God, come here quickly, come here, come here, come here. Come here, I, I need to talk to you. We know, we know what happened to you? Judge and Uh-huh. You, because of HIV, you got paralyzed. And, 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 and you couldn't walk. Are you happy now? You couldn't even talk. You couldn't even talk. She couldn't even talk. My God, let me tell you something. Listen to me, my sister. God who has healed your legs, given you power to talk again, He's going to heal you of that HIV. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. HIV, get off this woman, never come back again. Get out of her blood, I repeat. So you in come, Jesus name. Mara, so pick it up, pick it up, pick it up faster, faster, faster. I give you praise, Jesus. Yes, it's your own Touch, Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. I rebuke that HIV. I rebuke you can never to come back again. To die at the root in Jesus' name. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. Could not talk. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. My goodness, stand over there. Stand over there. Use authority. Speak with authority. There is another miracle over here. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. Tell me, tell me what is happening. Pastor, 
This is an amazing miracle. This lady is 19 years. This is her first time to walk without any support. 19 years. She's never walked. She was young. She's walking for the first time. This is her first time to walk. My God. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. 19 years. She has never walked before. Now I give praise Jesus. Who came with her? Who came with her? What's your name? With Kwande. Olivine. How old are you? With Timia Kinga. I'm 19 years 19. old. You have never walked before. How good is your agenda? You've been using supports and stuff. Where are your stuff? Where are your, your things? They were always holding her. She could never walk before now. Oh, Aaron Wajagaba Mufata, Kujanga Jenda, Dashora Kujenda, Kujitiche. Right? Nibja no kuri. No kuri. It's right. Walk here for me. Gauter in Hangu Zahana. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Komera Yesu Ibiganza. Komera Yesu Masimesh. My God, she has just begun. Glory be to God Almighty. She's gonna get better and better and better. My God. My God. She can stand over there. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Pastor, for the last two years, she had paralysis in the back and she could not walk around for two years. This is her first time to walk without that stick in Jesus' name. Walk Turn around. Turn around. Walk strong. Come on, walk strong. For two years, she's been using a stick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come back, Mama. Come back. Garuka. My God, somebody shout hallelujah. 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 My God, my God. Stand over there, Mama. Stand over there. Mama. Tell me, Pastor Arthur, quickly. Pastor, 15 months ago, this young man was involved in a motor accident. And from that time, he has been in hospital. He has not been able to walk for 15 months. Now, God has touched him and he's walking. For 15 months, 15 months he has not been able, he was in an accident. That's what he's been using. He has just begun walking. And you know, you can look at his sticks, he's been using both of them. He has just begun. I believe by tomorrow he's going to do better. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Come here. My God, Father, I pray that his leg becomes stronger in Jesus' name. Come on, put it over here. We are making it stand over there. What's your name? What happened to you? Come here, come here, come here. What happened to you? What happened to you? I, I began to feel a great change in my body and for the last uh, 13 months it was on the 28th of August last year when I encountered a, an accident I was operated upon and I had an infection but I went to Kibum and then I but today when I came I came here I feel I'm totally and completely healed hallelujah somebody praise hallelujah, the Lord Himazimad. my God my God yes Man, pastor, pastor, pastor this pastor, pastor. Man for 12 years has been a cripple he actually used to crawl on the ground so they gave him these sticks these crutches to help him Today, for the first time, he's able to walk without support. In 12 years. 
agendera kumbago gusa nibwo bwa mbere ashoboye kugenda ubu ngubu adafite imbago my god my god come here young man come here young man talk to me ngwino talk to me 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 ngwino what happened to you judge nzebite yewe nubishe muri ngewe nakize rwose naye ndwa system yorite chronique ariko muganga ambiye ko imbwa yangi tacire ko nubishe yakize nanga sire nagiraga mu hano mu mavi wewe the doctors are told me nari ndwa igifu byose ndumva byakize ari ndwa system yorite amfumu imubiri wose ariko rwose ndumva wose nakize I, I I feel I've been healed all over the all over my body. Uh -huh. The doctors have told me that I'll never be healed, but but I felt the power of God flowing through my body and I'll feel completely healed all over my body. You, you have not been able to walk for how many years? Without your support. 12 years. For 12 years I wouldn't I couldn't walk without the support. Walk over here for me. Walk for the Lord. Lord, I pray that that lake will grow. I thank you for what you've done for my brother. Somebody clap your hands. Check your eyes. Check your ears. Stand over here. Tell me what's happening. Pastor, 10 years ago, this man was shot in the knee. And ever since that time, he became paralyzed. He was already paralyzed. But when they shot him in the knee, it wasn't. He has not been able to use that knee for 10 years. Today, God has touched him and healed him. He but, but, Tell me what happened to you? Well, I felt the power of the Lord flowing through my knee and I felt complete, completely healed. What happened to your knee? Well, I was shot in my knee. Somebody shot him a bullet in the knee. Yes. So he hasn't been able to, to move the knee. Yes, sir. Are you happy? I'm, I'm so happy. I'm very happy. Walk over there for me. Now tell him how good you're Somebody shout hallelujah. Sakuri sima nubuga hallelujah. Stand over there. Stand over there. Hagara haga. Pastor, hey mama, for forty give years, stick. give her a stick. Mumu ingoniye. Ni mumu ingoniye. For forty years, this mama has had a back pain. And she has not been able to move properly for 40 years. For the first time, she can use her knees without any pain and without any support. For 40 years. 40 years. 40. 40 zero. Kumari miya kamirongwine uyumubje yari yara muga ya mumugo hongo. Ada shumura kujienda, ada kore shajiri ya mbago. None niyo shuro ya ambera jienze, ajienda neza, ali musima. Kami ya mama. Mama angwino. 40 years. 40 years. This is the lady who was walking fast over there. She came from there and started walking. I saw her. Are you happy? I, I feel so good. I feel so good and I'm, I, I, I don't feel any pain. Give me your stick. Lift your hand. Walk like a soldier over there. Come on, Mama. Mama, come as you Turn around. Turn around. Come on, Mama. Mama, Come on. Come on. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Pastor. This lady here has been paralyzed for three years and could not walk without the support of her crutch. But praise be to Jesus, today she can walk without it. She has begun. Her is not yet done. That's why you don't give up. You have to exercise. Her healing has just begun. She's going to get better, but clap your hands to Jesus. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. 
Hallelujah, Pastor. This lady has brought her child here. The child could not hold her head up. The neck was weak. The head was falling left, right, and center. But today, thanks be to Jesus, the child's neck is steady and can look around any and everywhere. Mama, what happened to your child? What has Mama Nichi Chavay Kumana? My child's neck was not steady, but, but today he, uh, uh, the, the child has been healed. Now the, 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 the neck is steady. Look at the neck of the baby. Look at the neck. My God. It was dingling around. Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. My God. My God, you can stand over there. And another miracle in the name of Jesus. For yes. 40 years, every time he looked into the light, he couldn't see properly and he'd fall down. But today we just had him stare in those floodlights and he's up and steady. Praise be to Jesus. Are you happy? I'm so happy. Amen, 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 amen. Pastor, this gentleman from 1985 couldn't talk, but now he can talk in the name of Jesus. That is the mother. 85, 85. Yes. Yes. What had happened to him? He would only speak one word and he, he, he couldn't speak any more words. What has happened to him today? He says he's been healed. Amen. Amen. This young man since 1985, he has not been speaking. But while we were praying, the power of God came upon him. And he began to speak. Let's see whether he can speak. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. It's a wonderful miracle. Since 1985. Somebody clap your hands. Over there. Oh, Pastor, here's a lady who has had a chest pain of some unknown sickness. She lived on Kampala. They asked her to come back to Rwanda and die over here. But praise be to God, tonight that pain in the chest is gone and she feels absolutely no more. Praise the Lord. The pain is gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What's Pastor, she was deaf in one ear. But praise the Lord, tonight when you told her to touch her ear, she can hear in that ear. It's not deaf anymore. Amen. For how long? For a very long time. Stop this one. Since you are born. Uh, I, I, from, from, from the time I was of age, I was a person of age, I wouldn't hear. But now for the first time, my ear has been healed. Stop this one. Turn around. Look that way. Jesus. 
Jesus. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. One. Two. Three. Four. Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. It's a wonderful miracle. Come on, yes, much you mentioned channel. Yes. First of all, this young man had kidney problems, and for one year he could not bend. Now, while you're praying, God touched him, and he can now bend. The boy had a kidney problem. This is this is the the guy who he came with. You brought him. What was wrong with him? Give him. Let me tell the story. What was wrong with him? Briefly. 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 My God, how long has he been suffering? Amazi je chinga ni charguai. Yara mazi misaja kwa muganga baka mushira mu bitoro pediatri. Amazi je chinga ni chi arguai. Amazi mesa tanda tu. For the last five months. May God heal you, boy. Imani guchize. In Jesus name. Yes. Pastor, for three years this lady could not hear, and for three years her mouth was twisted on one side. As you can see, her mouth is straight, and she can hear. Praise the Lord. Kumari mnya kita tu. Kumari mnya kita tu ni asho bora kumba. Kandi umunua we wari wara henga miuru hande rumwe. Ari kurabonda yuko mungu bo umunua we uri mucheri chizo chime. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Kome na Yesu amashime shichane. Her mouth, akanwake, is now straight. Ubu karatunga nyenesa. She can hear. Uwa asho bora kumba. Kandi dunwa dunwa yamaze kutu sengera fatamuru kugutui nunwa kuno ibyo biji shabio sini ibyo wapuganda. After you prayed for us, I was able to hear. I couldn't hear, and my mouth was able to turn into the right direction. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yesu. Yesu. Ha ha ha. Rwanda. Rwanda. Chigali. Chigali. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Wakose Yesu. Yes. Pastor, this lady was brought in a car three years. She could not walk on her own. She was always bedridden. But now she's walking. Nothing wrong. She's healed in the name of Jesus. You, know, you, are, the, you are the mother? You are the daughter? Uyu no mukobwa uyu mubyeyi bamuzanye mu modoka ntiyashoboraga guhaguruka ntiyashoboraga kugenda none baragenda Speak louder why 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 do the people of Rwanda speak so softly Vuga cyane uranguruye abantu bamwe mu Rwanda bakunda kuvuga buhoro cyane Nyine ndashima Imana yuko uyu mubyeyi uyu mubyeyi ni mabukwe namuzanye tumufite mu modoka adashobora Kujuka amazimia kita tu. We brought her in a car. No, no, no. No, no. Ya haga zekupa mungi tondo. Tura shimima na po. Ashobara kujendu. Uni ya jaga. Aha gararu kodu fashe chino jikoni. No, ni chichikoni. Tura ngiki. Chibi hasi. Tura zamuri kila hindo chino. Tura kutu. For three years. Kumarimia kita tu. Ari gani kifu. I alusa. Ari zozi mudija. Emiake sato, amaze miake sato nga arusa zezi munuma. Na yenga tazu kukata ina chintujo nga cha sobra kuteka munu kutorue. Na yetu eva za kato ndoro na kuduwa reiro kura wanga ina hida wanga. My God, for three years, she could not walk on her own. And now she's been able to walk. They brought her in the car. This is how she was walking. And they brought her in the car. But now see. Mama walk there. Mama agenda. Mama come back. Garuka mama. Come back. Garuka. Come back. Garuka mama. Come back. Garuka. Tambla. Garuka mama. Take him corner of guru. Zamuri bigaza biawe mama. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Sabu isibaru mukut hallelujah. And Pastor Steve, the power of God is here. Pastor Simba, Pastor Kero, Pastor Dell, come here, Moses. The power of God, Baragasima, is here. Zirihano. Oftentimes, where is your mother? It's on your shima, Mama Wari. Where is she? Mama Wari. 
Come down, come down quickly. We know mama. We Pick it up, Mark. Pick it up. I'm telling you people. I came believing. But I didn't know God, you people had such a great faith. I'm going to come back to Chigali. I'm going to come back to Rwanda. Jesus name. You see, lift up your hand, Carol. This is your time. God brought you here to bust you into something. Come here. God brought you here to bust in, you into something wonderful. Ronnie, get behind them. Get behind them. Something that you've been waiting for years. It has been hidden in your ministry, in your family, among your children. But you are now about to see. You are about to see whatever the devil has stolen. I'm telling you, in the next seven months, it's going to explode where you are. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. Be healed in Jesus' mother's name. Power of the Holy Ghost, I give you praise. I command every pain to leave. I command that arm to be totally fixed in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the fire of God burn in her family. Lord, whatever you have done and put inside of her, let her see it. Let her see it. Open doors with presidents, with leaders. Oh God, I pray that you flood her family with your power. That ever before. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Yes. going to do something incredible mama something incredible that's why the enemy has been coming after you Lately. but he has lost I see you picking up calls people calling you Prime Minister's calling you, President's calling you, great important people calling you. It's, 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 a, it's a different ministry. Not, not many people, Joseph is the one who had that ministry. And that anointing is descending upon you. Stronger and powerful. You're about to see miracles, signs and wonders than ever before. God is bathing something. Jesus. There is a tremendous anointing of the Holy Ghost here, people. There is a tremendous anointing of the Holy Ghost here. Something happened. And now I know He touched me. Steve, that's why we preach. That's still your mouth to be this up. Jesus. Yes. Talk to me, Pastor Alan. Pastor, this young man for the last 13 years, both his eyes had a problem, but this one could not see totally. As you are praying, the, uh, what was blinding him left, and now he can see very clearly. 
Uyu musore kumara imyaka 13 yari yarahumye ijisho rimwe ryarahumye rwose adashobora kureba ariko umaze gusenga ubarabona For 3 years Yes Kumara imyaka 3 One of those eyes went bad You could not see No kumara imyaka 3 Was this one Do what I do Kori cyo nkora kori cyo nkora This young man has been blind in one eye Uyu musore yari impumye ijisho rimwe ryari yarahumye rwose Now watch. Dore dore. Kori chakora. Come on somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Komera Yesu amashimeshi cha. How old are you? Ufite imyaka ingahe? I am 15 years. Ufite imyaka 15. And now I know he touched me. Yes. Pastor, another lady who was blind could not see properly had distorted vision, but now praise the Lord, she can see 2020 vision. Ntabwo yashoboraga kubona neza, yari yarahumiye, ari kubarabona, ashobora no kubona mu cyerekezo cy'amakumyabiri 2020. What was wrong with you? Wari urwaye iki? My eyes were blind. How is it now? Ubu urumva urumva meza ate? Ndumva ndi kureba neza kuko narebaga nkabona na mashashi gusa. Well I can see clearly now but before I couldn't see clearly. I could only see and identify images. Are you happy? Urishimye? I'm happy. You are happy. Atindi somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Wonderful. Wonderful what's happening? Pastor this lady has been unable to give birth for 20 years as a result of that condition. She developed a tumor for six months in her breast. This big, God has removed that tumor right now. Umba, uyu mubye yari ngumba. Kuberi yomamvu yari yara ruwaye ichibjiimba. Chai chima ze ibjumwe ruitanda tu. Ari kodu senze ji ameza tanda tu. Du senze cha cha ji. Listen, you had a tumor in your breast. Waru fiti chibjiimba. De bahari ya mureve mureve. You had a tumor in your breast. Waru fiti chibjiimba mwibere ryawo. Mazi myaka 22 nabyara. Noni ke nari ntangiye kubabara mu yibere kibyimba. No ndashimira uwiteka. How big was the tumor? Cha icyo chibjiimba cyanganaga gite? Look that way. Look that way. Aro habtimba gagurya. Unagira gutye nakwikora nkababara. It was so big that it would touch even my arm. Every time I pushed my arm around the, the breast, I could feel the pain. Now, now the thing is gone. Come gone. on, somebody! Shout yes. hallelujah! Father, in the name of Jesus, you're awesome. You're awesome. Yes. Pastor, you need to hear this. This lady has not been able to hear in both ears for 30 years. God has opened her ears. Uyu uyu mu uyu mubyeyi kumara imyaka 33 amatwi ye yombi ntabwo yumvaga. She can talk but she couldn't hear. Ya yashobaraga kuvuga ari katumva. Ari birosi bityo. None no abona hagaza hanezo ndiye nasengeye Pastor, I, I will well, well, not only were my ears deep that I couldn't hear, but even the, I would hear bells in my, in, my, in, my, in my mind. I would hear things sounding like bells in my mind. But when we began to pray, the things left me. I thought there were demons. They left me. And I'm, 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 I can be able to hear right now. Years, she could not hear. In her ears. In her ears. Hey, mama, 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 m
got an operation here. You can even see the scar. As a result, because of breathing problems. As a result of that operation, she got paralyzed. For two years, she has not been able to walk without this stick. God has touched her while you're praying. Uyu mukobwa baramubaze hano mu ijosi kubera iyo mpamvu yari yarabaye paralyze adashobora kugenda kumara imyaka ibiri ari kubaragenda niyo shuro ya mbere agenze What happened to you? Niki cyakubayeho? Look at me. Talk, talk while you are talking looking at me. Vugureba we. Tell her to talk while she's looking. Vugureba mu maso. I had breathing problems and I was operated upon Jesus. For, for two years. Jesus. Yes. Touch, Holy Ghost, I rebuke it. I command this pain to go. I command this paralysis to leave. You. Jesus. Yes. Come with me. Come with me. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. Let's walk. What's happening over there? Pastor, this lady, this young girl, has been under a spell of witchcraft for three years. Come here. They carried her here. They brought her in a car, but now as you are praying, the Holy Ghost has so totally set her free from the power of witchcraft. She can walk on her own. And because of my God, my God, my God. How long has he been like this? Three years. Three years? Three years. Okay, let's she walk. She says for three years and a half. Let's walk. I pick up your legs. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Three years. Palalai. Brought in the car. Now she can walk. Walk, walk over there. Is that your mother? Come on, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Father. Yes. Pastor, this lady for eight years had vain problems she could not use her knees properly to walk come quickly as come you quickly. are praying god touched her knees god and bless she's able you to walk. what's happening what's happening yes. Yes. Pastor, you can Chichabaya. see she's marching already because for five years she's been paralyzed couldn't walk but now she is walking father we pray that this leg will be totally healed in jesus name what's happening and another miracle for 30 years 10, 20, 30, she could not hear. But today, praise Jesus, she can hear. 30 years, in one 30, year, two years, two years, both working. Both Who came with her? Who came with this lady? Uh, Ronnie, put this lady over there. You came with her, come quickly. Give me another one, give me another one as it's coming. This, this lady had palace in her knees. She could not bend the way she's bending, but now she can bend those knees. She's 51 years, but for the last 19 years, she couldn't bend her knees. Can you bend your knees? Yes. Ubu mazi myaka 9 narahimye amaguru nagira gutya ikanga kurambuka ikanja none ngiye kumva numva hakiye mu muyaga numva the wind went through her none ndashima imana yuko amaguru yange atarimo kundya ndimo guhina i can pray much over here much over here tell her to match tell her to match quick amge Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Yes, you came with her. In In way. Way. For 30 years, she couldn't. For both. The wrong place. Stand over there. Okay, what happened? This is my mother. This is your mother. So how do you communicate to her? Now go yumvaga neza no kuvuga cyane. 
What did he say? You have to shout. You have to shout. You have to shout. You have to shout. Okay. 30 years. Now talk to her. I praise the Lord for my son. He was, he was suffering from palsy and he would fall very often. He would fall down very often. But I praise the Lord that he was so, totally delivered. So his son was sick of palsy, like epilepsy. Yes, like so epilepsy. he could fall. He could fall. He's been healed today. He's been healed. And and uh, and uh, and she's healed. Now we watch it. And she says, "I'm totally healed." Thirty years. Say Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Come over here. Since was a baby, one ear could not work. It was deaf. Today, both ears are working. Praise the Lord. This ear is, is healed. Ah, 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 Start playing with it and show the pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Her hand was broken. Was broken. Hey. The mighty God. We serve an incredible God. Our God is real. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. We will worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name. And as we gather, may your spirit walk within us. And as we gather, may you glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because you came. We'll be blessed because we came. As we gather, may your within us and as we gather may you glorify your name knowing well that our hearts begin to worship we'll be blessed because you came we'll be blessed because tell the person next to you and tell him as we gather and as we gather may your spirit work within us and as we gather may you glorify your name knowing well that I Hearts begin to worship. We'll be blessed because we came. If you believe it, come on, raise your voices and tell the Lord. We'll be blessed because we came. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never shall come to an end. They're anew every morning. They're anew every morning. Great is 
Steadfast love, come on. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His love shall never come to an end. faithfulness oh Lord my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thy changes not thy compassion they fail not as thy has been forever will be lift your hands and tell him great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness by morning no basis I see oh thou has given thy hand has provided great is thy faith God is so faithful. Clap your hands to Him. He's so faithful. 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 In Jesus' name, you may be seated. You look wonderful. You look great. Uh, we are studying on the cross. Calvary, Calvary and the carpenter. No we are studying about the penalty. Tuigaku penalty. The price. Omutango. The place. Nechifo. And the person. No muntu. And once you put all these things together, you begin to realize how valuable you are. You are God's best. I said you are God's best. I said you are God's best. I know you've had so many things. Situations. Society. They all tell you you are the worst. They say you are the reason why they are suffering. But I want you to see the cross, Calvary, and the carpenter. That is your value. I said that is your value. I was expecting a, a, a loud hallelujah. That is your value. 
That is your value. That's how God sees you. That he had to give his only begotten son. Paying a price for you. Paying the penalty for you. At a particular place. By a particular person. That's how valuable you are. I know you don't feel it. You don't look like it. But you are valuable in the eyes of God. You are valuable. You are God's best. Lift your hand and say, I am God's best. Say it again. You are God's best. How do you know you are the best? You just have to look at the cross. You look at Calvary. And you look at the carpenter. And, and you conclude that all this was done to save me, to rescue me, to deliver me, to set me free, to purchase me. All that was done. So what is my value? You are priceless. You are priceless. You took a son of God to die on the cross for you. It took God's only son to die that you may live. God wants you to live. I said God wants you to live. So from today, determine that you are going to live. Everything pertaining to life, I mean everything pertaining to life, was paid for, was provided for. Life and godliness. You're not just going to live, you're going to be like God, you're going to be, you're going to be godly. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 He said according to his divine power That has given unto us all things Child of God Somebody said divine power What is the divine power? The message of the cross to those who are perishing is foolishness. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. It is the divine power of God. It is the divine power of God. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18. This is the divine power of God. Whenever you look at the cross, you are looking at the divine power of God. Somebody said divine power of God. Come on, say it with strength. It is the power of God. This power is divine. This is not nguvu the sabiti. Masanyalaze, mega, you know? This is not sabiti. This is power of God. This is the divine power of God. Oh, I hope I'm talking to somebody today. You've been rescued by the divine power of God. So the same power, the same power, the same spirit, the same power, Jesus from the dead is going to raise you from poverty, sickness, and disease. So whenever we talk about the cross, we are talking about the divine power of God. Supernaturally, you are going to be delivered. Supernaturally, you're going to be you're going to become prosperous. Supernaturally. In the natural, you don't have it. In the natural, it's not available. It has never happened in your family. But because you are connected to the cross, to the divine power of Almighty God, something incredible is about to happen to you. Something supernatural is about to take place in your life. According to his divine power, he has given unto us all things that pertaineth unto life and godliness. It is given already that which is pertaining to life. And what is pertaining to life? Your health, your wealth, your land, your community, your house, your car. What can I say? Your clothes, your food. Food. It is all provided supernaturally. 
Oh, you better clap your hand and dance for the Lord. Somebody shouted, it's provided. He has provided it. It is provided. Child of God, it's not going to be provided. It is provided. Oh, slap the person next to you. Tell him it is provided. Pertaining to life. To life, your water, your land, your ticket, your education, your knowledge, your innovation, your friends, your protection, your guidance, where you stay. Am I talking to anybody in this house? This is not a wishful thinking. This is already provided. It's already available. Through the cross. At Calvary. With a carpenter on it. Oh yeah, your house, your marriage, your, your, your joy, your family, your wife, your children, your health. By his stripes we are healed. By his stripes we are healed. So child of God, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Come on, you need you need to get crazy about this. The money is already in the bank. Your husband is on the way. They are making the finalizing your car. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. First Peter 2 24 said, who, is, who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. Child of God, you're going to live a better life because of what Jesus did. If you believe it, clap your hands and rejoice and love. Pertaining to life. Pertaining to life. Your clothes. Your long life. With the long life, he will satisfy you. Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. We, he has called us to glory and virtue. You know, child of God, they always invite you on a dinner. They call you to come to classroom. They call you to pray. But God calls you to glory. Somebody, I'm called Say, I've been called. Say again, say, I have been called to glory. You've been called to glory. You are looking at me as though I'm talking to someone else. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you folding your hands. You've been called to glory. Other people are called to go somewhere. Other people are called and sent somewhere. Else. But for us, we've been called to glory. I said we've been called to glory. Everything around you is going to be glorious. You're going to feed on the glory. You're going to live in the glory. You're going to walk in the glory. You're going to speak by the glory. You're going to, do the, you're going to survive by the glory. And virtue. Your life is going to be meaningful. Meaningful. Attractive. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your life is going to be desirable. Admirable. 
You are going to be the example. Everybody will strive to receive. Come on, go to verse 4. Go to verse 4. That's why when we look at the cross, Calvary and the carpenter, this is what comes. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. So in other words, the world will last on things but for you because of Calvary, the cross and the carpenter you are picking up what they call the divine nature. You are picking up the divine nature. You're going you're gonna to operate and work and think and move like God moves. Holiness and righteousness is going to be your order of the day. And when you pick up the divine nature, you will have the divine character, which is a holy character, a righteous character, a wise character, a powerful character. Your words will mean something. You will decree things and they shall be established for you. Because you have escaped the corruption that is in this world. For them, the last, for you, you love. You love to see souls saved. You love to see, uh, listen, God is going to bless you so much that when you love something, you will get it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Child of God, listen to this. How many of you want to see your whole village re in, under revival? Yeah, you want to see every kid in your community getting to school. You want to see the poor being fed. You want to see the naked dress. You love it. You want it. You, you desire it. But you can't. Only God can do that. Because he is divine. Now you're going to share and partake of that divine nature. The ability to do things when everything is impossible. The ability to do things when nobody can do them. That's a divine nature. You are going to build houses for everyone in your family. You're going to pick up the nature of a provider. You're going to pick up a nature of a financier. You're going to pick up a nature of, 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 of leadership. Because your God is the leader. The Bible says he leads me beside the still water. Our God is a leader. You're going to lead your entire clan out of poverty. Supernaturally. Oh, lift up your hand and say, Lord, I'm ready. Through your divine nature. Through your divine nature. I'll feed the hungry. I'll be the example. I'll show them the way. In the name of Jesus. Get ready, you're, you're, gonna, you're about to become a great leader. You're about to lead people out of misery into the glory of God, into the, into, into the miraculous of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your divine nature. Thank him, come on. Lift up your hand and say, thank you, Lord, for giving me your nature, for giving me your nature, your divine nature. Verse 5, please. And beside this, 
Beside the, what I've just said, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. He said, add. You know, the cross is a plus sign. So the cross adds these things to your life. Diligence, faith, virtue, knowledge. Go ahead. Verse 6. Temperance, patience, godliness, go ahead, brotherly kindness, brotherly charity, verse 8. For these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are not only saved, but you are going to be an all-rounder, a very prosperous, fruitful person. I wish I can talk to someone who believes. Come on, jump and clap your hands and rejoice. No more barrenness. You are going to be productive. Whatever you do, will succeed. Whether business, or business, or academics, or industry, or evangelism, or preaching, or singing, or dancing, or farming, or politics, wherever you go, productivity begins now. Ah, shout, no more barrenness. No more barrenness in my life. May the Lord add to you. Add to you. Do you see him adding? Do you see him adding? He's, he's adding diligence. He's adding uh, uh, temperance. He's adding fruitfulness. He's adding power. Kindness. Godliness. Wisdom. Knowledge. Do you see how big you are becoming? I'm sorry I'm talking to dead people. You are becoming bigger. Bigger than your problem. Bigger than your nature. Bigger than your love. Bigger than your situation. Bigger than your enemy. You are getting bigger. Bigger than a problem. Bigger than the sickness. God is keeping on adding on you. Somebody say, Lord, add on me. Virtue. Temperance. Wisdom. Knowledge. Finance. Ability. With godliness. I see God adding on to you. Those of you watching by television, my God is adding on to you. He's adding on to you. Even as I speak now, He's adding on you favor, grace, mercy, power, anointing, life. Opportunity. Grace, favor, money, joy, patience, temperance. Say, I'm fruitful. I can hear you. Say, I am fruitful. I am no longer barren. That's why this year 2024, you are going to be so productive. You're going to produce your security in finance, in money, in housing. Ah, glory to God. Raise your hand. Say, thank you, Jesus. I'm picking up your nature. Your divine nature. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm.
Hallelujah. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty God. Lift your hands and say, My Father. Come on, identify yourself with God. Shout, My Father. Come on, call him and say, Father. Father. Which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Here on earth. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Our daily bread. And forgive us. Our sins. As we forgive. Those who sin against us. Deliver us. From evil. For thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help me 
find a way Bring me back to you Somebody clap your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Well, we are left with about five minutes. And I believe in this five minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to raise some good money for Karamoja. We're going to raise money for Germany Crusade. Our God is faithful. Saints, our God is faithful. And he does wonders. He does wonders. We are in the midst of Karamoja. We are planting. We need something like... Um, 70 million shillings. Yesterday we raised two. Today we're going to raise more. In Jesus' name. Uh, we have Komwaka Judith from Nansan has brought her Kisache Nantege's seed of one million shillings towards German crusade. One million. How much money is that in euros? That is about 200 yeah something like 250 euros thank you so much euros. then we have got Miss Edith Kasaja from Holy Spirit Church Kisasi has come to church with her, with her two daughters to sow their seed of a hundred dollars in response to Karamoja and a hundred dollars towards German crusade so the Lord is touching people uh, we, 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 we need the resources as much as we can and uh, for Germany and Karamoja and uh, child of God this is going to be the first crusade ever done by anybody in East Africa people go we all go abroad to preach in churches to preach in meetings to preach in conferences this is going to be the first crusade in Germany that I know of ever since I was born that I know of in a stadium like you've seen the crusade in Rwanda. When I came in, there was a Rwanda crusade. That's what we're going to be doing in Germany. So we are sponsoring it. Come on, somebody. You are sponsoring it. You are giving for the, the money. And, um, and so we are going to send the money. They will rent the stadium. Equipment. Everything. And then publicity. This is the first time East Africa is coming boldly to proclaim Jesus with miracle signs and wonders to the people of Europe. Come 
Come on, somebody, clap your hands to Jesus. It is going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. So, people of God, if you have got your seed, you brought for Germany. Those of you watching by television, yeah, we are going to Berlin. We are going for a good crusade. I don't know whether you've seen some of our crusades. I know you have never. But you, you sometimes you see them. We put them on. We did a big crusade in Colombia. In a city called Barenkia. In a stadium sitting 250,000 people. I know they have the video. They can show it to you. And uh, we did one in Russia. We did one in, uh, in Panama. We did one in, uh, in Hong Kong. When you look at a crusade, that's exactly what happens. Stadium full. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And miracles happen. Deaf and dumb hearing. In that crusade, there were more people out Side than those inside. That was Colombia crusade. Then, uh, then we went to Panama. When you see these crusades, you, you, you just, you're just amazed about the multitude of people that, that come to hear the gospel. That was Panama crusade. In Jesus' mighty name. And uh, thousands of people get to know Jesus Christ. They get to come to know Jesus. We had one in Hong Kong. I don't know whether they have the, 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 the picture there, but the others. That was Rwanda. Put back Rwanda, please. That was Rwanda. In Jesus' name. Uh, Mahoro Stadium was packed to capacity. And, uh, and that's what happened when God sends us that was Burundi we went to Burundi crusade and uh, we went to Zimbabwe we've done these crusades everywhere we go we love you. We love in you. Jesus name that is Hong Kong, Hong Kong. in China and child of God we don't want to preach to Africans but we go to those towns and rain places and, and, uh, and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. And um, Perth, Australia. We did crusades in Perth where God was opening blind eyes. You know, it, you don't know, you don't know. Heaven feels great. You see these people, their eyes are open. And, uh, and, and, and that's what we do. We, 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 we proclaim the good news. We win souls. We let the people know that God is real. I remember when I was in Paraguay. When I Paraguay, God was touching people in a way nobody has ever touched. In a, in a brand new way, opening their eyes, and healing their sickness, and, uh, and totally delivering people from bondage. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Yeah, that was. Uh, that was Russia. Russia. That was Russia. Russia. Preaching the gospel. I wish I could show you the crowd of the people. Yeah, that was Russia. Russia. Preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Saints. That's what's going to happen in Germany. In Germany. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. It's good. You become part of what God is doing. It's good you become part of what, of what God is going to do. You have to be part of what God is going to do. So that you may bring salvation to millions of people. Because that's the best thing you can do. I mean, you, can, you, you, you can say, well, I, I don't know. But, but God has you. God wants to use you. God wants to touch the nation. We've done crusades here in Uganda. I don't know any place where I haven't preached. But child of God, just get ready. That was, I think, path. Australia. I don't know. 
Australia. That, that looks like Perth. Yeah, that is Perth, Australia. And um, and people came in great numbers. Fill up Jundal Up Stadium. In uh, in Perth. A path. Australia. Australia. And uh, people got healed. Because, because this was Masindi. This Masindi. Is Many, many I, I can go on and on. Uh, this one was Marara Crusade. That is Guru Crusade. As far as the eyes you can see, Arua, Kitigum, Soroti. Soroti. You know, it's, there's nowhere we haven't preached the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. But now, the Lord is saying, on top of what we are doing, growing food, revivals, it's time to touch Europe. And once we go there, we'll break the barrier. We are going to break the barrier. We are literally going to break the barrier. Uh, and you'll see our currency go to another level. You will see your life become global. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. So those of you watching by television, please send in your $100. Where is the dollars if I can get a thousand people giving a hundred dollars, that will help us greatly. But I'm believing God for a thousand people to give a thousand dollars. In Uganda, people have money. Unfortunately, they are using money for, for something else. I, I wish I could, they can take my advice and invest in the kingdom of God and just invest in the kingdom of God and invest in the kingdom of God. You will never outgive God. You will never outlive God. So let's go ahead and give each one of us. I believe tonight, those of you watching my television, we've given ourselves eight minutes and, uh, and you can give. Join us online. Join us who are here. You brought your special seat in Jesus' name for Karamoja. Uh, Karamoja, by the way, the seeds are there. Karamoja and, um, and, and our place is becoming a place of attraction. People from different organizations keep on visiting, benchmarking on what we are doing. And I'm glad as God's people, God has given us this opportunity. Last Saturday, we dedicated a beautiful hospital. So, if you are to ask, what is Miracle Center doing? We are farming. We are stopping death. We are building hospitals. If you, okay, okay. We are evangelizing the world. So, we are That's what we are. That's who we are. That's what we do. We do. That's what we are. So if you ask us who we are, we'll tell you. And uh, we are opening up that hospital. Sai Hospital. Sayuni Hospital. It's called Sayuni. It's got the most modern equipment. Labs and stuff like that. Built debt free. So, child of God, just get ready. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. This, this is for the glory of the Lord. This is for the glory of God. So, child of God, let's invest in people's lives. Let's invest in people's lives. Let's keep on doing what God has said. And we will see his goodness. And his mercy. And his power. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So let's go ahead and give please. If you've got your seed. Just bring your seed. To the Lord for. Let it be for Germany. Let it be for Kalamoja. Just bring it. We believe God for great things. In Jesus' name. Just love. The Lord loves a cheerful people. Amen. Just bring your seed. Touch the oil. 
and anoint yourself. You are called for the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus name. God is good. God is good. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Master. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. What a powerful God we have. Jesus is Lord. In Jesus name. Those of you online, please plant your seed. We will rejoice. We will praise God together. Your seed is going to make a big, big difference. Your hundred dollars. Your thousand dollars. Your ten thousand. I believe the Lord is going to do wonderful things. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hello, we are praying for you, uh, Kisache. You are here. We are praying for you. You are in Germany. Yes, praise the Lord. Uh, we are praying for you. She has already told me your prayer request. We are believing God. Thank you for your, your one million shillings you planted today. We are soon coming to your, seat, to your country in Germany. We will be happy to receive you, Pastor. Amen. So God is going to do wonderful things. So tell everybody the crusade is coming. Amen. We are coming on July 29th to August 4th. Amen. 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 We are Amen. ready for you, Pastor. Amen. So, hey, your baby is... Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Bless this, your servant. Bless her baby. Bless whatever she does. Do miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord. Promote her, increase her, favor her. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And may the Lord bless you as well. In Amen. Jesus' name. Mm. Praise God, Papa. She's Komaka Judith. She thanks God for this church. She's also brought a seed. She's a child in this place. You have so many children. You don't even but know us. But I'm your child. Papa, I believe God. Akiriza katonda. And pay connections in USA. Give her connections in USA. Saba mukama, Papa. She's praying to God. To heal her life. Also, has been better since last year. But has been better since last year. But it's not recovering. Another thing she prays to God. 
her mother was given land by her dad. She left someone with that land when she got married. So they took over land. When they went to get the land, they went to Mbarara in court. They went to Ibanda. They went to Ivanda. They gave the judgment and said it's the, la- the mom's land. Ever since they won the land back, seven years have passed. The mother cannot go where the land is. It's far. From where they are. The distance from where they are is the land. The mother can't access it or take care of it. When they try to get buyers, whoever goes doesn't buy the land. They see the arguments and the fights over the land. Another thing. She for the anointing of Miracle Sena. She did not study that Mama much. The mother had five daughters. But the whole clan was Because Because of the anointing of Miracle Center, God dressed her of all her sisters. She built her mother a beautiful house. Because of the anointing of Miracle Center, she comes from a clan where no one has ever built a house. No one has ever built a cement house. The side of both the parents. Let us shame the devil today. In their clan of the parents, whoever tries to prosper, they make a business of alcohol. Whoever tries to make some kind of business and dies. Because of the anointing of Miracle Center, she has built a plot of land in Nansana. She has built a house in Nansana. In our clan, she is the solution giver to the whole clan. She thanks God for the anointing of Miracle Center. She thanks God. A cow knocked her. They said she would never produce the God healed her. God gave her beautiful daughter Michelle. God has blessed her so much. She prays God to bless her the more. Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, bless her. Connect her. Establish her. Lord, I pray that the desire to sell that land, Lord, let it be sold. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Whatever was holding that land, let somebody give them good money that they may invest it for their livelihood. Because you've given everything to us pertaining to God in Jesus' name. It is done. Jesus, I rebuke this sickness and disease to leave this No more. Holy Spirit, completely heal him. Completely set him free. By the power of God, bless the family, Lord. Jesus, prosper the family. Amen. Amen.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Lift your hands to the Lord. I will praise you, Jesus. I will praise you, Jesus. I will praise you, Lord. Na kutendeleza mukama. I will praise you, Lord. Na kutendeleza mukama. I will praise you, Lord. Na kutendeleza mukama. For what you have done. Kule yokoze. For who you are. Kule chochori. To these people. Eri abantu bano. You have proven yourself. Wegrazi. That you are real. Chori watala. This year. Mwaka kuno. Lord, what has taken them? Nine years to try to get. They are having it this year. I give you praise, Master. Welcome in this place, Holy Spirit. Break the yoke. Break the bandage. Break what has been there. Go. 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 Look at me, Mama. I see a lady here. But she like she took the responsibility to raise her daughters to raise her children I don't see the man but I see a lady working hard to raise the children who is that one? I think it is me my mother mama we the mother paid for them school to get a degree it is their mother there are three degrees in the family but it's the mother that has paid for the school the mother endeavored so much with her it breaks that's why God is bringing wonderful husband in your life to help you raise your children the cycle breaks off you in Jesus mighty name I give you praise Jesus touch 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 favor thank you Jesus Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. I give you praise. You are blessed. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
raise your hand everybody you, you deserve the glory and the honor Lord we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor Lord we lift our hands lift your hands lift your hands praise your holy name and you are great you do miracles there is no one else like you there is no of you watching by television wherever you are the anointing of God is here when we remember the cross the carpenter and the Calvary we receive divine nature divine power for godliness and pertaining to godliness and life and I believe God is going to do wonderful things now this Wednesday is going to be probably public holiday it's a healing, whatever it is but we're going to have a healing service every time you get a free time like public holiday you gather to receive the anointing you gather bring your children bring everybody to, to tap into the anointing because the anointing makes a big big difference and it will do great and mighty things in Jesus name so please go ahead and give for Karamoja go ahead and give we are buying seeds please thank you we want to thank um, all the people who are planting seeds thank you so much your seeds are going to go a long way to change people's lives in Jesus name we give you praise Lord we thank you Father because you are good in Jesus name I give you praise, Jesus. I give you praise, Jesus. That you will heal and set the captives free. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Give him praise. We'll see you tomorrow. God richly bless. Amen and amen. Amen. Wonderful Jesus. God is so good. Amen. Amen.